Today, I want to explore with you a very common and useful word used in everyday Portuguese that usually doesn't get the importance it deserves. Not only is it used in day-to-day -day expressions and formulas, but there are also many idioms that have it. I'm talking about the word ponto. Don't confuse it with the word pronto. We also have a video about that word. If you enjoy my content, have you checked out my Patreon page to access my exclusive premium content? If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you could support me. E agora, vamos começar! Ponto is a noun. In English, it can be translated as dot, point, stitch, mark, and so much more. It is also interesting to know that Portuguese punctuation uses the word ponto in almost all punctuation marks. They are ponto, period, ponto e virgula, semicolon, ponto de exclamação, exclamation mark, ponto de interrogação, question mark, and dois pontos, colon. Fun fact, ellipsis, which has the technical name reticências, is commonly called three little dots, três pontinhos. Ponto is also widely used when you want to make clear you have nothing more to say about a specific subject. Just like in English, as in... Ele não sabe fazer o seu trabalho, ponto. He doesn't know how to do his job, period. You can find the word ponto with the meaning of dot in email and website addresses. You can find one of the main Portuguese newspapers at publico.pt or send me an email at sandra arroba learn European Portuguese online ponto com. Now let's look at the meaning of ponto as stitch. We can use this meaning whether you're talking about sewing or a medical term. So we can use the expression levar pontos or tirar os pontos to refer to get stitches or remove stitches. And we can also say dar um ponto to refer to small needlework. Or say, for example, gosto de bordar em ponto de cruz, meaning I like to cross stitch. Scoring is also something that requires the word ponto in Portuguese. Points are expressed by the word ponto as in Bati o meu recorde pessoal no jogo. Fiz 80 pontos. I beat my personal record in the game. I scored 80 points. As I said before, the word ponto is also present in several fixed expressions and idioms. Let's look at some of them. Em ponto, sharp, on the dot. A reunião é às três da tarde em ponto. The meeting is at 3 p.m. sharp. Ponto de vista, point of view. Do meu ponto de vista, ela jamais conseguirá a promoção. From my point of view, she will never get the promotion. Ponto forte, strength. Organização é o meu ponto forte. Organization is my strength. Ponto fraco, weak point, weakness. O ponto fraco dele é ser tão preguiçoso. His weak point is being so lazy. Ponto por ponto. Point by point. Preciso que me expliques a situação ponto por ponto. I need you to explain the situation to me point by point. Ponto de venda. Point of sale. Não existem muitas lojas Apple em Portugal. 
mas existem vários pontos de venda. There aren't many Apple stores in Portugal, but there are various points of sale. Now let's take a look at fixed expressions that combine a verb and the word ponto. Estar a ponto de, to be about to. Aquela vizinha faz tanto barulho. Estou a ponto de explodir. That neighbor makes so much noise. I'm about to explode. Fazer o ponto da situação. To analyze the situation. To give an update. Como está o projeto? Preciso que me faças o ponto da situação. How's the project going? I need you to give me an update. Pôr os pontos nos is. To dot the i's and cross the t's. Tenho de colocar os pontos nos is quando falar com ela. I have to clarify everything when I talk to her. These are just a selection of some uses of the word ponto. Isn't it amazing how powerful this word is? Share with me in the comments below what you think. Até a próxima!